The Sydney Harbour Bridge opened in 1932 after almost 90 years of sun and wind. Heavy trains, big vehicles. How is our bridge coping? We trust our bridge will work. We trust it will work forever. Despite bearing the load it was never designed to bear. How many of you know there is an AI, artificial intelligence system, working behind the thing? About five years ago, a group of us, AI scientists, engineers, designed and installed more than 3,000 sensors on the bridge. Those sensors monitor the bridge movement and judge whether it is within healthy range or not. If yes, happy. If not, <laughs> then an automatic alert will be sent to the bridge inspectors. AI learned from human experts and help to see the inspections where you need it to be. If a sea monster coming out of the ocean to attack the bridge, we will know it real fast. <laughs> when we drive onto the bridge, we trust this AI implicitly. So, what is trust? Trust is a very common attribute in our human-human relationship. I trust my kids will clean the room. Where are you? <laughs> I trust my Uber driver taking me to wherever I want to be. Each small interaction is filled with high level of trust. AI, of course, is an intelligence displayed by machine. AI learned from humans, often mimic human logic and reasoning and applied in the new situation. We already seen AI demonstrating complexity and the impact never, we never seen as we experienced before. We already use AI every day, like a GPS. The robot lady sitting in our car, navigating for us. It learned from transport information such as, you know, speed, congestion, uh, past history, all of those, and uh, it picks up routes for us. Another example, targeted advertising. Particularly when it asks whether you want a nose hair trimmer or something. <laughs> Thanks, Google, how could you know? <laughs> Technology itself is quite forward thinking, but I know I often turn it off. It means the AI lost trust. Many AI systems don't know human well enough and cannot adapt to fluctuating individual differences, let alone financial risks or compromised privacy. The continual usage of technology hinges upon human trust. Me, as an AI professional, this is one of the main roadblocks to overcome. Is there a way to conceive of AI like our trustworthy friends running in the background, looking after us? Trust building is a dynamic process over time. How can we help trust building? How can we let people use AI as a comfort friend helping us? In trust building, this is always a two-way relationship. Let's look at machine side first. This is our graph coming from the research we conducted. It shows AI performance is important. Your reliance rate, which is the ratio you follow system recommendation, is correlated with the system performance. Your reliance rate is getting closer, closer to 100% when the system is more and more accurate. Your reliance rate on GPS will surely go up if 
your GPS has never once led you wrong. The research also shows increased user familiarity will decrease trust changes. AI to an average user is just a black box, not knowing what's the input, what's the output, what's the process. With a key approach to increase transparency of this black box, that will increase user familiarity and greatly boast our confidence in them. Now, let's flip the coin to look at our human side. GPS again. I don't use GPS to navigate my neighborhood because I'm smarter. I can pick up a shortcut better than GPS, but I do turn it on when I'm going to a new place. This is my preference. How could GPS know and learn that? Also, how can the GPS be less annoying? Mine says, recalculating. <laughs> when it loses the signal, I'm already panicking. <laughs> For our human, it's about disposition. It's about emotion. It's about our cognitive load. It's about our cultural background. It's about our individual experience about AI. All those make a significant difference in trust building and uh, humans' choices of whether they trust machine or not. Our research also shows that cognitive load is very important. It's a vital factor. How stressed a human is at a given time, like a where I am now, is a very crucial, important information when, especially, how humans go into trust the machine. Machine's capability to understand the human emotion, understand the human cognition is vital. Human, as a species, has gotten this far with versatility and evolution. Machines, when dealing with complicated, emotional human, like me, should have the same capability to understand us. The next question is, can AI monitor human trust? If a human doesn't trust, can AI pick up distrust and do adaptation accordingly? Yes, we can. We can do this by reviewing and adapting human profile in AI-based solutions. Look at this one. It's the first framework of this kind developed by my team. We call it Decision Mind. It links AI and the real-life situation in a seamless way. So when AI makes recommendation, human interpreter, then AI knows how much human trust it and make adaptation. Then human finally make decision. We know this is incredibly effective in making human trust AI. How does it work? Some of the work I've done has been in air traffic control and bushfire management teams landing airplanes, monitoring bushfires, and answering emergency calls to triple zero. Under this kind of situation, cognitive load, which is how much mental capacity we have to deal with critical decision making, is very important. So, we collect human behavior, such as speech, eye movement, and your skin responses related to emotional arousal. All those information has been used by AI and uh, understand your cognitive load and make adaptation accordingly. So how it shows the human when this information coming out of you, when the AI system find that a human are under high cognitive load, 
it will block out some unnecessary information and just make you straight focus on the critical decision making. With this kind of thinking, like what are we doing with decision mind, humans are more likely to use AI-based solutions. <coughs> Fingers crossed, by doing this talk, I'm not going to give our new robot overlords any neat ideas. <laughs> My goal is work towards a future where technology is equitable for everyone, regardless of cultural background and life experiences. With AI adapt to individuals, it only means greater accessibility. This is what we as a society should be aiming for. What we need is a trustworthy AI systems that we are not hesitant to use. GPS knows when I want to turn it on, or AI emergency systems that ensures crisis situation be less frantic and present less risk to human life. In an ideal relationship, human and AI, they augment each other's capability. With AI at our fingertips and constantly evolving with human trust, the world can only become better. Thank you. <laughs>